Yo, what is up everybody? Happy Friday. Hope you guys are having a great Friday so far. Um, hopefully you guys have maybe already started your weekend a little bit early. Uh, for me, it is, I think it's going to be 2 o'clock. Got a, um, I actually have an eye appointment today, um, which is why I'm wearing my glasses. Normally I never wear my glasses um, during the day. I always wait until, you know, kind of later on in the evening. Um, so I take my contacts out, but I'm actually going to be headed to a place here in Chicago. It's called, uh, I think it's called Craft Eye or Craft Eye. And what they do is um, they actually do uh, LASIK. So I'm going to go uh, over there, get a consultation to see if I can actually get LASIK and uh, hopefully get these eyes fixed after all these years, um, which... <clears throat> If I am actually eligible to do the LASIK, uh, I think I'll set it up uh, pretty quick because <clears throat> I'm actually almost out of contacts. So uh, rather than buying a, uh, an entire new box of contacts, I think I'd rather just get the surgery, um, go through the whole process of healing, and never have to deal with contacts or glasses <clears throat> or every single year having to do an eye exam. So that would be really nice. My, my partner, she actually uh, went to this place uh, to get her eyes done. And uh, it was pretty quick. Uh, she was saying that her consultation only took like an hour. And they said mine is going to take a couple of hours. But I assume there's a bunch of tests that they don't, uh, or maybe just a lot quicker than the, than the two hours. So... Uh, we'll get that. We'll get that done. There's actually a helicopter flying by. Though, so that's why I keep looking that way. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, hopefully um, you know, hopefully everything goes really well, uh, and I can get this set up. Like I was saying, uh, my partner has actually had this done before, and when we went there, I think I think we were actually in and out of that place in 45 minutes. And I think like only 20 minutes of it was the actual procedure itself. Uh, I think it takes like 10 minutes for each eye. Um, I think they they um, I think they numb your eyes. They wait for everything to take hold. You go in the back, and then they actually have like a small uh, room where if somebody comes with you, they can actually watch the entire procedure. So um, you know you kind of go in there, and then they sit you down in a, in a chair. Um, uh, and then next thing you know, you can see like, um, you know, the person's eyeball and you get to watch everything from this room. So I thought it was really interesting. It's really quick. Um, one thing that I'm a little bit concerned about is that <clears throat> my partner, when we actually, uh, left that place, um, her, like, obviously you can't see, they put, um, they put a mask over you cause, uh, you're, you're, uh, they don't want you looking to, uh, bright lights. And so they, they put this mask over you so you can't see anything. So I had to like guide her um, to our Uber. And she was saying that her eyes were stinging really bad. And so she was like that way for probably like a good four hours where she couldn't do anything. And um, she was saying that, you know, she was the, she had like a lot of pain in her eyes. So I'm not really looking forward to that, but for some of the other uh, YouTube videos that I've watched, it definitely seems like that's not the case for everybody. Um, you know, it doesn't seem like everybody has that discomfort, so uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm not really looking forward to being in pain for four hours, but if that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. Uh, LASIK has been around for quite a long time now, so um, I think I don't really have any concerns that there's going to be any complications or anything. I'm just not looking forward to um, you know, one, one thing that I have seen people say is that, uh, at night you might have some slight halo effects from the lights, uh, but they say that goes away after a year. So I'm not really looking forward to that part. Um, my partner had dry eyes for about a year. Um, they do have you, um, take these like, uh, like natural eye drops. And, uh, so I'm not really looking forward to putting in eye drops for a year, but, you know, again, I've I've been blind since uh, um, I've had really bad eyesight since I was like in eighth grade. So uh, my my prescription has been stable now for uh, for probably about ten years. So I think it, I think it's time. Uh, I think I think I'm due to get this surgery. 
and um, you know I've uh, I'm one of those people that I'm, I'm blessed with a really great job so I think I can afford it why not just get it right stop dealing with classes and contacts and you know um, if you go out have a late night <laughs> the last thing I want to do is come home and take my contacts out so uh, yeah I'm really looking forward to this anyway uh, as you guys can see in the back here um, it's a nice day in Chicago it's cold out there uh, it's nice and sunny um, it's a little windy um, as you can tell by that flag that's waving over there but um, it's not too bad oh I actually want to show you guys another thing here let me turn this camera around Hopefully this works there we go so over there I think you guys can see it from here um, there's a building going up and I think it's like Wolf Point East I believe I think there's another one there's another one right next to it um, it's been up for I think two years or three years now and as you can see uh, this one has actually gone up pretty quick uh, I think they've been working on that now for a year and as you can see there's that there's a down at the very bottom at the base of that building there's not a whole lot of space down there and you know next thing you know a year later you have this giant building going up and it's really cool um, I used to live out in the suburbs so I wasn't quite sure how you know they put these buildings up but man once they start moving it's uh, it's really cool to watch these buildings go up uh, very impressive very amazing uh, all the hard work that uh, you know all these people show up every single day and they put in the, all that hard work and you know two three years later you got a nice big gorgeous building so very cool very cool let's take you guys out here oh there he is there's little p dog coming over to say hi so if you if you guys haven't watched my other videos this is my dog his name is patrick yes i know that's a weird name for a dog but uh we bought patrick um i used to have a business a uh bed bug inspection business and patrick here was actually trained as a bed bug uh scent detection dog he's retired now spends most of his time just napping and eating snacks and barking at sounds that he hears in the hallway uh anyway that's probably gonna be it for me let's turn you guys around here there we go all right uh, so anyway I'll let you guys go um, I have a little bit more work to do before I am technically off work so I should probably get back to doing work uh, anyways I appreciate you guys watching my videos hope you guys have a great week weekend see you later